Word is as follows. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why behold thou the most that is in thy brother's eye? Behold, but, be, but consider not the beast that is in thine own eye. For how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mold of thine, out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mold that is out of, in thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy to the dog, neither cast ye your pearls before swine. These they tremble them under their feet, and turn them again and rent you. May the Lord have a blessing to you. This is a word that's been in my spirit for the last couple of days. And um, if I think it came maybe Thursday or Friday or Sunday. I, it came to me, the word, I was reading the word of God. And and the word came to say, obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And then all of a sudden today, uh, you know, I had to talk to my wife about this subject and then like that. A lot of times I preach, you don't know what I'm going to preach. Yeah, I know I did. But to make a long story short, my wife was, the children was getting ready for school. I work, I was getting ready to come in today, come to church today. We was all loading up the car, getting ready to come to church. And as we began to load up the car to get ready to come to church, um, my wife told one of the children, obedience is better than sacrifice. And I said, I know I'm in the house. I know I'm in the house. I know the Lord wants his word to go walk today. So today we're dealing with the subject of obedience is better than sacrifice. How many of y'all know to obey God is better than sacrifice? How many people spend all their lifetime running from the Lord? Spend a whole lifetime running from the Lord. Running over here, running over there. And they run from the Lord. And if they run from the Lord, they begin to get away from God's purpose, God's plan for their life. And God called them over here, but they decide, I'm going to go over there. God called them right there, they said, I'm going to go over there. And we spent our lifetime out of the will of God. Spent our lifetime out of the purpose of God. And I believe on judgment day, some of us are going to have to take it from God and give an account of why we didn't obey God. Amen. Let's go to Genesis chapter number 22 and verse number 1 through 18. Whenever you get down, please say amen. Thank God for my wife. Thank God for all the people that have a call to God upon our life today. We're getting ready to deal with that stuff. Genesis chapter number 22. Amen. When you ever get down, please say amen. And I'm going to be reading pretty quick today. Amen. Verse number 1 through uh, 18. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 22. And it came to pass. God, we ask you bless this word. Sanctify it. In the name of Jesus. God anointed in Jesus' name. And it came to pass after these things that the God did tell Abraham and said to Abraham and he said, Behold, here am I. And he said, Take thou thy son, that only that only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the Mount Moriah, and I will burn burn up and upon the one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and sowed his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac. And Isaac his son and claimed the wood of the burnt offering and rose up and went into, uh, unto the place which the God had, had told him. And on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of all. And Abraham said unto the son, uh, uh, unto the young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the land will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Listen to me. Whenever you begin to operate in the will of God, the purpose of God, the plan of God, a prophetic anointing begin to fall upon you sometimes. Then when you begin to speak what God says, speak. When you begin to do what God says, do. God is able to let you tap into the anointing. He get ready to offer up his son on the burn office and be coming back again. This man has some faith. Well, at, uh, and, and, and up to this point, you ain't here. Nobody, nobody's been raised from the dead. But he believed you, you be done with God, say, dude. God was able to raise his son up. Amen. Amen. And the word of God said, Abraham said unto him, unto him, I'll buy you here with the hand, and I will and come again. And in verse 6, and Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son, 